and welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Horizons. So last time we established the museum uh, all the way over here. Again, not the best place to put it, but oh well. Um, and this time we're going to try to finish up uh, the uh, Nook Miles required, uh, obtain the Nook Miles required to unlock uh, or to pay off our whole travel expenses and tent and everything. Um, even maybe build a house. Um, so we're gonna go along the beach collecting shells because that seems like an easy- that's a tiny fish. Seems like an easy way to unlock some more Nook Miles. We only need 200, dang it. There goes the- the- uh, the one achievement that's for, uh, Catching, I think, ten in a row. Why do you have a piece of a tree branch? You again? Is this island not big enough for both of us? Do we need a bigger island, Cheeky? What is that? Except for the plaza, we're allowed to pop furniture down wherever and whenever we like. I kind of want to stick a bench in a vending machine somewhere to, like, make a cool hangout spot for folks. What about you? I say if you've got an idea for the island, then go make it happen, Cheeky. Cool. So yeah, you can just plop down furniture wherever. That's new. Um, I, I saw Pierce earlier and now I don't know where he went. I do miss not being able to use the LNR to run because I actually do that a lot in the old games. Even like New Leaf, I usually just use L and R instead of uh, B to run. Again, that's just very much a nitpick. That's not deal breaking or anything. Um, I pushed the button so late, I'm surprised that worked, except it is a sea bass. Now I'm not surprised. Those are pretty easy to catch. So, to my knowledge, different fish have different catch rates, basically. So, like, obviously, like a shark is gonna have a shorter timing window than, like, a sea bass, so um, I kind of lucked out there. Why am I getting the same like three fish over and over again? Do they not actually bloop? Okay. Wrong button. It's still the same as New Leaf. Why do I keep pushing X to pick up things? Actually, I know why. Uh, there we go. Learning how to fish is an essential uh, Skill for living on a remote island, hmm? Nook Inc. encourages all island residents who are aiming to become fishing masters. Uh, basically, the reason I keep pushing X is because I have the capture footage of three Yes games um, for review purposes, like Animal Crossing. I use uh, an emulator to get high quality footage. Um, so. I'm using it like a PlayStation 4 controller, so I'm instinctively pushing the wrong button, basically, um, on that setup. So it's a little bit different. Hi, Pierce. I think these scary fish are just afraid of my huge bulging muscles, Hawkeye. Mm, okay. Wow, the mesh on the hat looks really hi uh, highly detailed. I, I just noticed the back of the hat looks so detailed. Can I not zoom in here? Alright, let's pay off our uh, moving fees. Oh, you'd like to pay your moving fees? Well, very well, you have 5,000 miles. Thank you so much! Indeed, that is 5,000 miles and not a mile less. With that, your moving fees have been paid in full. This is a happy day for us both, hmm? Yes, yes. You're free and clear of debt, living on a thriving scenic island. What could be better? Oh, that wasn't actually a rhetorical question. Let me be more specific. How is that tent treating you? What happens if I say it's great? Is that so? That's wonderful to hear. I'm so pleased to see that you're enjoying your new island life. Indeed, establishing a sort of utopia was one of our main aims of this endeavor, along with profits, of course. But speaking of this lovely paradise, which you are already enjoying, couldn't it be even better? Yes, yes, I suppose the time is right to discuss the possibility of building custom homes. Now, there are certain challenges to building fabulous homes in a remote location such as this. 
challenges that do not that do translate directly into costs, I'm afraid. Uh, but with zero interest financing and an extremely lax repayment plan, anything is possible. So Jonathan, if you you ever find yourself interested in a new home, do come see me. Oh, one more thing to share. We have a Miles Redemption service for the Nook Miles you've collected. When you access the Nook Stop, you will be able to redeem your Miles for lots of interesting things. You'll be sure to check it out sometime soon, hmm? Well then, I hope you continue to enjoy your getaway package life. We got Nook Miles for this. That's ironic. Uh... Thank you for paying all your fees for moving to the island. Take a Nook Miles rebate as a gift and give yourself a nice pat on the back, hmm? We got 500 miles just for giving him 5,000 miles. That's weird. Nook is, like, super generous in this game. Oh, have you made a decision about home ownership, ready to move forward into comfort and luxury? As fun as living in a tent can be, a house gives you more space and helps you put down roots. Now building a house means taking out a new loan in the amount of 90,000 bells. So what do you think? Ready to build your own home sweet home? Let's do it. Thank you for your business. I'll get construction started right away. By the way, you get to choose from eight different colors for the roof. Can you please select the roof color from this list, hmm? There are four other options. Choose one of these or one of the previous colors, yes? Okay, you'll have a blue roof. I'll get that order in for you. Yes, yes. Oh, one more thing. Homeowners get an automatic Nook Mileage Program upgrade. Just give me a moment, hmm? Yes, yes, there we go. I've updated your program membership details. Now when you use the Nook Miles app, you'll have a benefit access to all of the Nook Miles Plus benefits. Nook Miles Plus includes a nifty way to earn additional miles for special circumstances. You'll see the details when you launch the app, so please give it a look when you can. That's all for me. Your wonderful new home should be ready tomorrow. Quite exciting, yes? So... Nook Miles with a plus, your rank has increased, and you can now use Nook Miles Plus services. Nook Miles Plus makes it even easier to earn miles as you go about enjoying island life. There are also special redemption options that only Nook Miles Plus members get. Please take advantage of this amazing opportunity. So, uh... I assume these are like... I don't know what these are. I kind of assume these are like dailies or something. Um, but I'm not sure. This gives me meow coupon vibes and... Uh, oh, by the way, Critopedia, check this out for information on the bugs and fish you've caught. Um... Basically... Uh, what game was it? It was New Leaf Welcome Amiibo introduced a bunch of things. Including the Nook Mile, not Nook Miles, the Meow Coupons. Which are like, when you do certain things every day, uh, you unlock more um, coupons that can be used for Amiibo, a uh, welcome Amiibo specific uh, features. And I, I kind of feel like Nook Miles are kind of like the replacement for that, but I'm not sure. Oh, how can I forget, hmm? I should give you a brief explanation about that terminal. That is our Nook Stop. It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life. Of course, you can use this terminal for catalog shopping or as an ABD, but, but you can also redeem Nook Miles. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed, yes, yes. Welcome to Nook Stop, a multimedia terminal from Nook Inc. Once per day, accessing the Nook Stop will award you with bonus daily miles. Day 1, 50 bonus miles. System notification. Your account is now registered for Miles Redemption Services. We hope you continue to enjoy the many benefits of the Nook Mileage Program. Thank you. Please select from the following services. Let's see what we can redeem. Ticket... Custom Editor. So I guess Pro Designs can just be done anytime? Based on the look of it? Pretty good tools. This is important. Um, 
tool ring, so like, like a quick select. Uh, pocket or oh, there you go. Um, carry more items. That's helpful. Hairstyles. Um, <laughs> replica shirts. Cool. Um, eye masks, socks, slippers. Wow, there's a lot here. Knapsacks, fans. Uh. So yeah, they're flooring, but rugs separate, like in Happy Home Designer. This is gonna be, a uh, an addiction, isn't it? <laughs> Getting Nook Miles. So, got, uh, bell storage you can order. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So we have a house now. Well, tomorrow. Tomorrow we should also get the museum. So, other than just farming for Nook Miles and things of that nature, we've kind of tapped out everything we can do for today. Um, finally. Do I... Hmm. Do I want to try to do one of the plus objectives? I think I do. So, Nook Miles Plus, um... <laughs> wish I had saved those flower seeds. Um, so we're gonna do river fishing because, um... Black bass is separate from fishing. So if we catch a black bass, then that helps us in the long run anyway. So, um, yeah, we're gonna do some river fishing to end off this first day. Um... First impressions of this game are very strong. Again, I have spent so much time, and it's only been the first day, and things are going to open up, shoot, things are going to open up over time, um, there's going to be a lot of things to do, uh, there's again going to be like free updates over time, Splatoon style, uh, adding in holidays and other free things, um, so I think this game is going to have a very bright future, and I'm really excited. Caught a black bass, the most metal of all fish. So that's a plus uh, objective. Voila, 200 duck miles times two it says. Okay, so it just swapped out to another one. So I'm not sure how the nook miles plus works yet, if it's just like, you know, challenges that rotate out to give you more Nook Miles beyond, like... Because these are basically, like, achievements in other games. Um, Nook Miles Plus feels like a way so that if you, like, exhaust all options for achievements, you can still get things. So, like, again, kind of like the Meow Coupons. But again, this is basically conjecture at this point. Uh, I don't have a concrete understanding of how all of this works. Um, but just kind of throwing out some theories. Also, I've been like recording this whole session, like from the beginning to now, all in one consistent chunk. Um, most likely going forward, uh, less time will be spent on each day. So we're not going to have situations like this where, you know, an entire session or so is just one day. Um, how many um, bells was that one the class challenged? It was 5,000. So yeah, fishing works well for that and bug catching. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna call it soon for this first day. I'm gonna keep playing, obviously, because I'm enjoying this. Gonna get more Nook Miles. Um, gonna catch more things. Might unlock some things in the Nook Miles shop tomorrow. Like, I'm just gonna accumulate as many as I can. And then just go on an unlocking spree. Oh. That's the end of the line for my trusty flimsy net. I'm also noticing that there's a plus sign uh, for if it's a plus reward versus if it's a uh, regular 
I'm Miles just for catching creepy crawlies. Every bug you catch is one that won't be surprising someone in their sock drawer. Freshly delivered egg? Okay. Um, so yeah, we can still work towards these. Uh, I might do some of that on my own time because I don't know exactly how that works. Wish my net didn't just break. Um, but oh well. Also, uh, before I forget, I should... That is the wrong menu. I should look up my passport and see what I can do. It even says your town fruit. That's cool. Um, so now I have more options. Omnivorous? <laughs> Why? Um... Down and out? Wow, okay. Aspiring? Yeah, let's go aspiring. That sounds fancy for now. Aspiring wallflower? Like, okay. Um, aspiring long clippings? Sure. Um, cool, let's go with that for now. Take photo. Oh, it's just on the spot. Just take a photo of yourself. Okay, that's cool. Um, I'll, I'll do that later, once I get a better look going. So yeah, I am actually going to call it here, I think. Uh, for, well, this, uh, video, <laughs> at least. Oh, again, another present is just kind of teasing us at this point. Um, yeah, overall first impressions are very positive. I... I'm not sure how to feel about the durability, but like, if you get like silver and gold tools, then that would explain why a lot of these things are very flimsy, and also we have access through Nook Miles to pretty good tools very soon, so that should help a lot. The game looks beautiful, plays well, um... I am super addicted to this game, um, and yeah, so if all goes according to plan, I'm gonna just keep recording every day or so, talking about things um, that unlock and talking about things I do in between uh, recording. So I am gonna hit minus and uh, wrap things up for now. And since we haven't seen it yet, the title screen. Settings. Let's, should I really be going down this rabbit hole right now of going into settings? Um, hello, Jonathan. This is where I take on important requests related to settings. The requests I accept here are very serious ones, so children should get help from a parent or guardian. Okay. Um, save stuff. Okay, cool. Yes, yes, I understand. In that case, let's return you to the title screen. I hope you enjoyed Continue to enjoy life on Cobalt. I think we'll go into that next time. Um, I think we should just call it here. But in any case... Also, these load screens are a little long, I'm noticing. But in any case, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for, at last, day two of my Animal Crossing New Horizons playthrough.